Hi and welcome everyone to another of my Indie Author Showcase videos. This is where each month I invite a handful of indie or self-published fantasy authors to submit a video introducing themselves and talking about their books. If you're a self-published fantasy author and you'd like to feature in one of my future indie showcases, drop me a message. You can either do so on Instagram or Twitter, or you can send me an email. My address is in the About section of my channel here, and we'll talk about the details and see if we can get you involved. But right now, let's go and see who we've got today. Hello, I just want to start off by thanking Dom of Diminished Books for being a wonderful advocate for the indie scene. Um, it's initiatives like this and all his other work that keeps this vibrant scene alive, so thank you so much for that. Uh, my name is Tom Dumbrell and I'm the author of the Pillars of Peace trilogy. For those who are not familiar with the books, the first of them is The Look of a King, the second is No Place for Peace, and then the third book is Where Heroes Were Born, and uh, I will not let you forget that uh, because of this wonderfully self-indulgent backdrop that you'll have to endure for the rest of the video. Now, the stylings of the books uh, definitely take influence from uh, classic fantasy, things like Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, and um, more recently perhaps Philip Pullman, um, but then also some of my favourite modern authors, um, the likes of George R.R. R. Martin and my particular favourite, Joe Abercrombie. And hopefully within the books we bring together the kind of the comfort, the traditional, the tropes, the things that we love about classic fantasy or fantasies of our youth, um, but with a more unpredictable, sort of twisty, ruthless quality that comes through more in modern fantasy. And it creates a series of books that hopefully are unexpected and that will keep the reader forever turning the pages, uh, never knowing what is going to happen next. Um, because of the sort of stylings, it also lends itself a little bit to a kind of an adventure fantasy feel, and it tends to prompt thoughts in people of historical fiction as well. So things like Treasure Island, uh, Three Musketeers, and even sort of the Arthurian tales as well. Um, the entire story clocks in at under a thousand pages, so it's very fast paced. The first book is uh, just 260 pages, The Look of a King, so a great one to be able to pick up. If you love the story, a brilliant opportunity now to binge through um, the entire series. And it follows um, an underdog, a young man by the name of Cyrus, um, who is orphaned and ultimately has to find his way in the world with uh, a you know, remarkable sequence of events that follows. Um, again, if this all sounds like something that you might enjoy, I'm always welcoming new readers. I would love to hear from anybody who's about to start or has recently started the series for the first time. Uh, to everybody who's already read my books, thank you very, very much for your ongoing support. And again, to Dom, thank you for this wonderful opportunity um, and uh, for this wonderful scene that you continue to promote at every possible opportunity. Great, thank you. Hi there, my name is Logan Lashane. I'm an indie author from Canada, and I'm here to talk to you today about my debut novel, Into Evanmore, Offspring of the Throne. It's the first of a six-part series, and it's sort of a mashup between a science fiction and fantasy novel, because the magic system is all based loosely on science, um, but it's very much a fantasy story. The premise of the story is that a boy from our world named Jordy end up using a dissociative state called the control room to travel to a different world. And once he reaches the capital city, he finds himself thrown into the middle of a power struggle between these very powerful factions, all fighting for supremacy. And what Jordy finds surprising is that he possesses a lot of character traits and skills that are strangely helpful in this new world that he finds himself in. And so it sort of leaves the reader wondering if there's more going on than just what they're reading on the page. And sort of the entire concept of the story is sort of focusing on that question, is this real or is it all in his head? And there are different clues and there's even some hidden puzzles in the books themselves that the readers can kind of dig a little deeper and sort of find out that there might be things going on behind the scenes that Jordi is unaware of. It's a really fast paced, exciting series with a lot of expansive world building and very diverse and interesting characters. It would be absolutely incredible if you were to check it out for yourself. This is the first book into Evanmore Offspring of the Throne. It is available on Amazon as are the first four books of the six part series. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.
Hi everyone, my name is AC Cross and I'm the author of Where Blood Runs Gold. It's a weird western that is basically Red Dead Redemption 2 meets the Cthulhu mythos. It involves Sheriff Errol Thorpe, a violent, brutal cowboy with a dark, traumatic past, who goes on a journey to save a family and ends up finding a family of his own. It involves things like flesh-eating dust that can consume a creature in seconds. These monsters with acidic golden blood that can eat through anything and explode. You have dark, mysterious caves, politicians only looking out for their own gain, gunfights, violence, explosions, a lot of swearing, creative swearing, but swearing, and basically everything you can expect of from a really good Western. So if you like sand, if you like violence, if you like grit and grime and dirt and a little bit of heart, I would highly recommend you check out Or Blood Runs Gold. You can find that anywhere. And I'd also like to personally extend a thank you to Dom for giving me the opportunity to do this. And I'm almost packed, honey. If I've got it all, uh, sure, I've got the, the sun clock and um, yeah, 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 I think uh, I just have the most important thing for my vacation and of course, yeah, you know, right, um, what am I going to read on, let me see, oh, there are so many great books here, yeah, yeah, I don't know, um, I don't know. what do you think, uh, oh, the special TBR. How could I forget? Here it is. Ooh, the special TBR. Let me just. Oh, and here. Ah. Yes, yes. This is this is what I'm gonna bring. Of course, like you know, who wouldn't bring this? What do, What do you mean? Who wouldn't bring this? This is like a company of adventures. Yeah, by uh, by Rune S. Nielsen. What? What it's about? Oh, oh. It is used to read. Oh, I can read it to you. Sure, sure. Um, what happens to legendary adventurers when they retire? Talon is a poor farmhand, but he used to be a famously quick saltsman. Now he has one last job, which could secure his family's fortune. Uh, but he has to retrieve a cursed suit of golden armor from a mountain claimed by genocidal orcs. When Talon fails to return from this adventure, a motley crew of rocked ne'er-do-wells must deal with the mysterious person who hired Talon and a family of berserkers and retrieve the armor and it's gonna take a grievous toll. Yeah, yeah. No brain, all right? Um, yeah, 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 I'm done. Maybe uh, let's see the book here and uh, my my lucky coaster. Is that all? Oh, I guess one last thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bring the cat too, right? I, I can bring the cat, you sure? Well, okay. Well, have a, have a good vacation too and remember, bring a great book this summer. So thank you so much to all of the indie authors who've sent me a video to include in today's showcase. I really appreciate it and I love sharing the news about your books to my viewers. I do get a lot of comments on these videos whether it's on the channel itself or in my Discord server and people really appreciate them. Several people have told me that they really look forward to these videos each month. So that's just like me, I look forward to these each month as well and I'll have another bunch of authors talking about their books for you next month. So that's all for today, but as usual, I'm going to leave links in the description box below this video so you can find out more about the author and the first book in each of their respective series. Please do go and check them out and give them your support. For me today, though, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video sometime soon, but until then, as always, take care of yourselves, read some good books. Bye for now.